I haven't vlogged all week and I feel like so off my game and the thing is there's not even anything to catch you guys up on because nothing really happened this week I just worked <laughs> I was in the office Tuesday through yesterday so it's just a really busy week this has been such a busy like I feel like every week is really busy honestly but this week has been particularly busy for me I have no idea why but I'm really happy to work from home today. If you guys are new here, my name is Jenna and you guys know my whole spiel if you've been watching my work week or my work from home day in the life videos, which I have for like ever since I started my channel, which is crazy. But I work in corporate strategy and I work in a hybrid office. So we can kind of choose at our own accord if we can work from home or go to the office. And I like going to the office because it just kind of helps me change my environment, stay more productive that way. And it just helps me get by the work week. So I was in the office this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Didn't film any of it because honestly, there was like nothing to show you guys. It was just like a crazy busy week. And now I can end off my work week working from home with you guys. And yeah, that's my spiel. I want breakfast this morning too. So we're gonna have some breakfast. I don't usually have breakfast. If you guys have been watching my vlogs, you guys know that I don't usually do this. This is the yogurt that I really like lately. If it's a plant-based one, this is the Kite Hill Greek style vanilla yogurt and it's so good it's almond milk and soy based and i just think it tastes so good i just like to mix it up and i add all of my typical toppings you guys know these these are like my slivered almonds i add hemp seeds and then i add cacao nibs and granola and fruit of course but you guys this is the granola that i've been loving this is a purely elizabeth granola it's so good and I think that's everything for my yogurt bowl. How about we just start off our work day with some breakfast, log on, and then I actually think I have a meeting at 9.30 too. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit, but let's make breakfast. I want to know where you live to where you lay in bed alone. Sophistication. I hate when we talk through our phones. We have our hopes and our dreams, every little thing between. Maybe hey, this can't be. I bet know that you gave me through the moonlight in my bedroom. A part to start built on. we're gonna stand it's like 11 a.m you guys know this but whenever i stand i need to wear like cushiony slippers because otherwise like my feet start hurting because i don't have like a pad or anything so i just have these slippers these are really old from steve madden they're actually kind of gross now because i just wear them all the time and like the fabric's off and everything but i just want to check in with you guys and say hello it's 11 o'clock and honestly i'm feeling like i don't want to work <laughs> it's actually funny because i asked you guys on instagram 
um, like any questions that you guys had for me in terms of like a work day in the life. And a good number of you guys wanted to know like how I'm so productive all the time, especially during work and like if I am ever unproductive. You guys, of course like I'm not productive 100% of the time. I don't think anyone is. If you are, tell me your ways because I need to know. But honestly, this week was so busy and honestly like pretty hectic. I was in the office three days. I got a project out the door yesterday. So when your project is done and you like finished it, you spent a lot of time on it, the day after, especially if it's Friday, it's really hard to like get into it. So I've been trying, I've been trying my very best, but yeah, but I'm just feeling unproductive and I'm feeling like I don't want to work. And it's literally only been like two hours since I started my day. So I just wanted to like tell you guys that of course I feel unproductive sometimes, especially on Fridays and especially if I was in the office a lot this week, then it's just hard to, like I just want the day to end already, you know? I just want the weekend. <laughs> Wish, honestly, I had tips for you guys, like you guys are wondering, the same way that I'm wondering. I think that the only way to really get through feeling unproductive is like either actually stepping away and like coming back to your work with a fresh pair of eyes, or like, this is gonna sound so stupid, but just like complain about it to somebody. And then like, once you kind of have let it out and someone hears you about how you feel productive, then it's kind of just like cathartic and then you can move forward. Yeah, and I know that sounds really stupid, but if anybody else has any other tips in terms of like feeling unproductive and like how to get through it, let me know too, because I'm always curious. I often find that like, I just have to complain about it and then I'm like, okay, well, gotta carry on because <laughs> I can't actually stop working. So yeah, and putting on music really helps too. If I like am feeling unproductive, I'll put on a good playlist that I know that I like and it just kind of puts me in a better mood and then I'm like, okay, I'm like in the zone. Okay, I'm gonna get back to work. I will talk to you guys around lunchtime. I don't know what I'm gonna have. I think I want like a breakfast quesadilla or something or like a breakfast burrito. <laughs> I forget which I literally do every time but this is my work from home outfit I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit lower this is my set active sporty suit this is like the one piece that's like the legging length and you guys let's, wait let me just take this off this is literally the cutest freaking thing ever okay here's how it looks with like the jacket off and just like oh my god this is so cute this is literally I feel like I say this about everything from set active but like especially in the black color like look at just how like sucked in everything is and everything's just all in one place but i don't like to wear it on its own because i feel like i just look a little crazy so i like to put something on top today since i'm working from home and i'm like slumming i put on my oversized gray hoodie from princess polly and this is my outfit today and then i'm wearing my glasses today because if i'm working from home i'm just wearing my glasses i'll put on my contacts usually right before i work out but i think i'm gonna work out like right after work today so i'm just gonna wear my glasses for the rest of the day i'm gonna leave my referral code this isn't like sponsored or anything and i've literally never received anything from set active you guys know that i just like give them all my money because i love them so much but i do have a referral code if i think if you want to get like ten dollars or 15 percent something like that off if i've like influenced you to get set active let them know <laughs> and yeah so this is the sporty suit it's just like i love it it's it it feels amazing you guys and i like it in black because i feel like something like this in a color just is kind of it would show a lot more here, but since this is black and I have something over top, I think it works. Okay, I've been like ranting for five minutes about this sporty suit, so I need to shut up.
guys, here's my lunch today. It's a breakfast burrito and I'm actually so freaking excited to eat this. Every time I try to wrap this, you guys, it like doesn't work. But actually, let's just see. You know, yeah, no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna wrap it. We're just gonna make it more like a burrito, like this type of burrito. And I'm not gonna try to fold it because it never works. It's turkey, two eggs, some spring mix, and then just a bunch of seasonings like the truffle parmesan that you guys know. I have the Trader Joe's like chili oil and everything but the bagel seasoning. I'm also in the middle of watching Becca Watson's video. If you guys don't watch her videos, I literally like, you're missing out. She is such an amazing creator. Becca has the most impeccable editing skills and storytelling skills, and I just love everything that she does. And aside from all of her editing, she's just such a nice, beautiful, like warm person, and I love all of her videos. You guys have to check her out. I will link her channel below. She lives in London. So if you're interested in what life is like in London, check her out. She's so good. My day is fine. I've had a lot of meetings, honestly, like a lot more than I thought, and a lot more than usual for a Friday, but... I even have another meeting for my old job in 30 minutes. And so if you guys are new here, I'll explain this really quickly. But if you're not new, you already know all of this. But I used to work in consulting. I interned at my same firm that I'm working at right now in college. I started my job there and I was in consulting, specifically in government contracts. And then I wanted a career change. So I ended up moving internally into my firm. And so I'm no longer in consulting, but I still work at the same company. I really like that I did that honestly because I really loved my old team. If you guys have been watching my work from home vlogs for like over a year now, you guys know how much I really loved my old team and it was really hard to leave them even though I knew I didn't want to stay at that job. So I'm still at the same firm and it's really nice because now my old team, if they have any questions on any of my clients that I worked in the past, then they can just ask me really easily. So I have a meeting in around 30 minutes at 2 p.m. to talk about a past client to see if I can help them figure out this problem that they're having and yeah. That's what's going on. That is the rest of our Friday afternoon. It was just delicious. Also, I changed into this linen oversized button down. It was getting hot in my apartment and like the hoodie was just like too much. So I wanted something a little thinner. So I put this on. For any of you guys that are interested in moving jobs and you kind of don't know what to do, I would recommend you just go on LinkedIn, see what type of job listings are in your area or if you're remote, just see what kind of job listings there are for the type of skill that you wanna learn. So I knew in general that I really wanted to go into strategy. It was just something that I felt like my resume had lacked and I wanted to be able to like broaden my resume and the skills that I was learning. So consulting provided me a lot of data analytics, a lot of communication skills, organization skills, even like some managerial skills. And I got really good at Excel and just like data modeling in general, but I wanted more strategy, like I wanted more thinking and research and competitive intelligence, stuff like that. So actually I was looking to leave the firm because I didn't know that my firm was even hiring for the stuff that I was looking for. So I was looking on LinkedIn actually to leave my firm, but then I stumbled upon the fact that my firm itself was hiring and that's just kind of how it all happened. So definitely start there, start with the skills that you wanna to add to your resume and then just go on LinkedIn and see how that is. I feel like I'm forgetting something. So if you guys have any other questions about like my job transition or just kind of how it all happened, I feel like enough time has passed that I can actually talk about it so let me know in the comments i respond to every single one of your guys's comments i'm gonna take the rest of my lunch break and i will talk to you guys in a little bit before the end of the day but yeah i never know what to say at the end of each of these little clips when i check in with you guys but i think this is a pretty good day it got it got more productive because i had meetings but now i just need to like finish my work Sponsored or anything, but I just love 
First of all, the packaging on case to buy cases and boxes are just like so beautiful. Let's look at this together. Oh my god, you guys. Look at all of the new cases that we have. I wanted to pick up some new cases for the spring slash summertime. And you guys, look at, oh my god, these are so pretty. Wow, I think this one is a favorite one. Well, oh my god, with the dragon. Whoa. This one I really loved because I usually don't like words on my phone case, even though mine right now has words. But this says, if not now, then when. And I just think that it's, it's just like it all looks so nice. Oh my god. And then I wanted to also just get a plain black mirror one with my name on it and I got it in this like light pink color if you guys can see it. I got a new AirPods case too and oh my god. This is my case right now. It says good things are coming and I like it but I'm like already over it. So case buy is so nice. I do have a discount code for you guys and it's always available to you and I do receive a small commission if you guys want to use it. So it's all optional. You guys don't have to use it or anything, but it is 15% off if you do use my link. So I will leave that in the description box for you guys. It's in the description box of every single one of my videos and all of my other discount codes and stuff. But which one should we do? Let's do the butterflies because I think that's the one that like caught my eye the most. Oh my god it's so pretty i love getting the cases with the black border just because like it never actually gets dirty let's just see what it looks like case by cases are also impact proof up to nine feet which is really nice and oh my god you guys look at it it's so pretty i really just wanted like a butterfly slash colorful case for the spring and i love this it's so pretty it's so, so pretty. This was like my end of day reward. This is like literally what got me through the end of my day because I was like not feeling productive all day, even in the afternoon. And I was like, okay, when it's like 5.30 and I can get off work, I'm gonna open my cases. And oh my God, I just can't stop looking at it. It is 5.30, I've logged off. Goodbye work. I, you guys like, it was so, I got everything I needed to done. It was just kind of like dreadful doing it today, if I'm being honest. And one of the questions that you guys asked, Rachel, you asked this, it was like, how do you, how do you deal with work dread and like literally there's no solution you just let the time pass honestly putting on music is like the only thing that actually helps me because it kind of feels like the only thing that i can actually do about it but you just kind of have to like power through and now it is the weekend and i opened my cases and i'm gonna go work out so that's how I'm starting off my weekend, and that's how we're ending off this work from home day of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me on a Friday, pretty like low energy, unproductive, dreadful day. But I had a really productive week otherwise, and I think just because I got so much done Monday through Thursday, Friday I just like wanted to be more chill. So it's hard sometimes, but realistically you just kind of have to like power through and give yourself little rewards here and there. And then before you know it, the day will end. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, see you already.